What a time to have been alive, 1975. And this is gonna be a deep dive, look back at every wrestling magazine that was released in the entire year of 1975 as they appeared on the newsstands. So we're gonna go month by month, <clears throat> issue by issue, from January 75 through December 75, and a couple uh, different pieces along the way. I'm gonna to stick to mostly the magazines. I have a, just a couple of uh, programs, uh, not many. I thought I decided to keep those out and um, just to keep it flow, because there's a lot of material here. This has the potential of being a rather long video. And as I'm looking back at, at 75, and this was about the time where I can, it's my furthest memory, I guess, of being a wrestling fan. I can sit back and, and think, you know, who was at my house, who was watching it with us, my grandfather, my father, my uncles, cousins, uh, and we'd be tuned in and we'd be reading, flipping through them. Actually, I didn't have any magazines yet, a little bit older, but uh, it was, I just, that's my first memory, uh, my deepest memory for wrestling uh, would be 75. And what put me in the six, <clears throat> going close to seven year uh, old range and still young, don't know what I'm looking at except for the bright colors and crazy action in the ring. And uh, it, it's just a certain time that us as fans who bring us here to this channel to look at this time period, I started thinking, I was like, wow, you know, I'm in my mid fifties. Uh, we are um, a dying breed. We're, we're going extinct ourselves. This, this generation who grew up with this time period, and I feel not because it's because it's my time period, but it's, it's just the truth. It was the greatest period of all, 70s through the mid 80s. Uh, I just thought it was the greatest time for, for pro wrestling. And looking back at some of these issues from 75 brought back a ton of old memories. And I hope I can do the same uh, for you guys, for the nostalgia seekers of the channel. <clears throat> and for the collector, um, we have a ton for you. you. You will see every single issue that came out in January, February, March. Uh, I even threw the ones in that came from Japan. For those who were interested, we have the full year of Gong in here as well. So let's get cooking on the filthy, dirty, grimy, 70s, sleazy wrestling. And it starts right out of the bat with one of the bloodiest shots they could come with. Dick the Bruiser, <clears throat> Sweet Hansen, Sweet Hawk. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Sweet Hansen and um, Rip Hawk, um, the Crusher, of course, always on a cover. Um, Bobby Heenan on a ton of covers, uh, always bloodied up, and no different for January of '75. Inside wrestling, great looking shot to uh, set the tone for what's to come in the rest of the decade of the '70s, and of course, this <clears throat> this year in the '70s. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, my allergies are brutal. <clears throat> and um, I choke up a little bit, but bear with me. Um, January's issue for The Wrestler. I'm going to go Inside Wrestling, The Wrestler, Sports Review, uh, all the Stanley Westons first, and then get into the lesser uh, popular issues towards the back of the month. So uh, this way you'll know um, where we're going to begin. If you see it Inside Wrestling, that's beginning a new year. If I don't, I'm sorry, a new month, if I don't say it, okay? So January 75, The Wrestler, The Sheik throws the fire into the referee's face, burning the ref's face. I remember hearing an interview about this from one of the guys from Big Time Wrestling Memories that had a uh, some kind of podcast or something or other. They talked about this and how he threw the fire uh, into his face. It was pretty interesting stuff. I guess they did it with sandpaper. I don't want to kayfabe it, but, you know, I, well, they did it with sandpaper and something else and kind of brush burned his face up a little bit. Um, that was the, the depths of kayfabe back then. <clears throat> Sports Review... Uh, 1975, uh, just about ready to come with a, a monthly issue. This is still quarterly, maybe five or six a year for a sports review. Uh, another year, they starts doing it every month. 
and uh, a rare look at Mr. Wrestling on the cover. Mr. Wrestling 2 would get a lot of the fame. Wrestling 1, uh, you hardly ever seen on a cover of a magazine, and this is one of them. Uh, also, the beautiful um, apartment girls. And, uh, you know, I promised to do an apartment house video for, uh, for one of you guys, and I, I will do that. I, I am going to do that. Um, I'm going to actually do one for all ladies wrestling from the 50s through uh, the 70s. <clears throat> and um, so that's all coming in, in, in the future. Um, Sports Review, January 75. Wrestling Monthly got the Sheik on the cover. Great looking close up of Wrestling uh, Monthly, January 1975's issue. <clears throat> Dean Ho, former tag team WWF champion, and um, uh, just trying to find that. Day. Oh, obviously it's January. <laughs> January Wrestling Review. And uh, a great looking cover here at Bobby Shane, pouring blood. That should have been the main cover. That's a great looking shot there with the cops in the background. Not quite sure where it's at. I know he spent most of his time uh, in Florida, but he could be anywhere right at this point. <clears throat> Big Book of Wrestling, Stanley Weston originally started Big Book of Wrestling in 68. Sold it off in 1970 to uh, different publishers and uh, went downhill, but it's still good. I I'm, I'm not going to say the publisher because I can't think of the name because it was three of them and I just don't want to say the wrong name. Um, in 75, it was still good. It, it got kind of crappy uh, after 77, uh, they went downhill. Uh, but the early big books were definitely good magazines. Um, the covers weren't always the greatest, but the, the inside content was always good. Wrestling News. Not a monthly publication yet. Uh, this is still a mail away and an arena mag still dedicated to additions, meaning additions to the territories. This is the Stranglehold edition, which was Dick the Bruiser's territory, uh, Indianapolis, and um, of course it's got the Bruiser and Bobby Heenan on a bloody cage match uh, cover. And um, uh, this would start with issue number 66. Uh, this is number 26. So 66 would start the monthly issues from that point, and they would be on the newsstands, uh, unlimited newsstands. At least in New York, they definitely were. Uh, all parts of the country, uh, it was hard to say. You, know, you, had, you needed a really good magazine store that carried everything to carry lower uh, popular magazines, such as like these, Official Wrestling. Official Wrestling was owned by four different companies. Uh, four different publishers. It became such a generic name uh, over the years. This is uh, January's issue, and it is uh, Jack Briscoe and uh, Dory Funk on the cover, uh, wrestling well after both of those men have lost the title. <clears throat> But the feud continued. Um, one of the few programs that I'm going to show, I'm not going to show too many this month, um, takes a to this is a magazine program um, combo from the Sheik's territory in Detroit and it's got Abdullah the Butcher defending the uh, US title against Vampiro Furpo and uh, the Sheik uh, soon to be back as the champion but not quite nice rare early January 22nd 1975 issue of Kobo Hall's um, program uh, great place for wrestling big time wrestling in detroit wow what, what an awesome time that was <clears throat> if you're very lucky if you lived in the detroit area and caught that tv um the japanese issue of gong put out their january uh issue it's talking about the the giant baba's short run as the nwa champion and um um i'm sorry it's talking about Antonio Inoki's short run as the NWF champion uh, and, and uh, Giant Baba's quest for the NWA title. This is January 1st uh, issue of Gong. Not going to show all the gongs, but I am going to show one boxing magazine per month. Why not, right? Um, I have every boxing magazine ever printed uh, from Stanley Weston from the 60s, 70s, up to 85, and uh, complete. That's Wrestling World and... Um, international, uh, sorry, boxing world, international boxing. I don't have complete uh, KO. I'm very close. I just kind of stopped and never really went any further with it. But it's got uh, talking about the Ali Foreman fight coming up. Ali's challenging uh, George Foreman for the title, which was uh, one of the biggest fights to come out of 75. <clears throat> 
January, starting a new month, when you see Inside Wrestling, and it looks very much like uh, Mil Mascaris on the cover. It is his brother, Dos Caras, and January 75's first and only issue of Dos on a cover of a Stanley Weston magazine, January 75. Tony Gurria on the cover in February of 75. Strombo taking on one of the Valiants in the, uh, I'm sure, a tag match on a cover of The Wrestler. Ben Strong would be shortly coming to an end in 75 after a short three-year run that they had, mostly two and a half, I would say. Uh, February's issue of Ben Strong got Pedro Morales on the cover. Weston put out one of the uh, wrestling yearbooks, yearbook number 10. It's got uh, Furpo on the cover, Johnny Valentine in the uh, top right, wrestling yearbook 75. And also, Stanley Weston released the very first all apartment girl, fully nude, centerfold, color uh, apartment battling girls magazine. This would be one of four issues which were all mail away. <clears throat> they were not sold in stores as far as I know, just mail away only, just for a few bucks. And it was basically some recycled photos from the other apartment house magazines from Sports Review and uh, some new ones. And uh, of course, the being fully nude shots and, um, and in color, which was the attraction for the people to send away to get it. February uh, 1975 of Wrestling Guide, name in the corner here, it's kind of small. Font all starts to change because Complete Wrestling, Wrestling Guide, and Official Wrestling are all about to merge into one magazine uh, real shortly because it's all by the same publisher. And it's got a, uh, a, a bloody Ernie Ladd uh, on the cover. Wrestling Sports Stars, which was a quarterly magazine that ran for a handful of years. February 75 has got Gorilla Monsoon, who turned face, taking on uh, uh, George the Animal Steel. <clears throat> Wrestling Monthly with a shot of the Destroyer on the cover, and the Destroyer is gonna be basically Japan-bound from this point forward in his career, pretty much would stay extinct uh, from American Wrestling Association, AWA, or anywhere in between, except for a few appearances in Los Angeles throughout the 70s, but predominantly he'll stay with the Giant Baba until his retirement, uh, February 75. Talking about the Destroyer or Mill Maskers, choose the best masked wrestler. <clears throat> Wrestling Review uh, with a pretty terrible cover for a wrestling magazine. It's got a uh, one-legged one uh, Japanese man in a wheelchair um, talking about the uh, tragedy in wrestling that he had. Um, kind of made like a tabloid uh, magazine with the cover here. Not a fan of the new owners of Wrestling Review at all. And they would run another 10 years before they would go under themselves. <clears throat> 70s, they only got worse. They actually, the issues didn't get any better as time went on for them. Um, complete Wrestling Roundup. Okay, so there's Complete Wrestling and there's Complete Wrestling Roundup, different magazine publication. And uh, this has got the, for the very first and only time, uh, besides an issue of Wrestling uh, World in 66, is uh, midget wrestlers uh, dominating the cover. Uh, this will be your first time that you'd see two female uh, wrestlers dominating the cover. Um, and here it is. It's uh, 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 Darlin Dagmeyer and, and Diamond Lil. Diamond, uh, Diamond Lil was um, one of Moolah's girls and, and I think lived with her up in, until she passed away. Uh, Moolah took care of her pretty much her whole life. and. Uh, I believe she even called her uh, called Moolah Mom. <laughs> um, so February of 1975, uh, Dagmire and Diamond Lil take the cover of Complete Wrestling Roundup. This wasn't actually a bad magazine. I preferred this over wrestling, um, uh, the other Complete Wrestling and Wrestling Monthly. Um, Roundup was pretty good for the lesser known issues that came out of Canada. <clears throat> Dick, um, let's see, uh, February of 1975, Anoki uh, is on the cover again, uh, showing the belt, strong Kobayashi uh, on the bottom, and the Giant Baba also on the other side of Gong. Boxing Magazine would be my favorite boxer, I would say, of all time. Joe Frazier, Smoking Joe, I um, was 
without a doubt, uh, my favorite. I trained at Smoking Joe's Franchise School uh, when I was a kid, uh, early boxing before I got into the martial arts and, sh and shit later on. And uh, so I always favored uh, Smoking Joe. I'm not a fan of Muhammad Ali whatsoever, uh, never was. Um, but a uh, great shot of uh, the former champ Smoking Joe here. Uh, pretty soon we'll be talking about the uh, uh, matchup between him and Ali for the second time or the third time. I think it's the number three. Gets us into March 1975. Great looking shot, superstar Billy Graham in a bloodbath of Joe uh, on the cover, man. Look at that head, just pouring blood. Fantastic shot. Three in a row now for Inside Wrestling showing a great bloody cover for the 70s. Bruno San Martino at the Garden now has got his title back and back to defending the championship and uh, going into uh, the new 75 season and uh, a bloody mess as he left it. So March of 75, the wrestler bloodbath at the Garden. Uh, 1975 March, this is Sports Review, a bloody superstar, Billy Graham in the corner. Your ladies are on the bottom with the apartment house wrestling Johnny Valentine in the upper right. Weston released another wrestling annual for 75, an issue number 11. It's got uh, Billy Robinson in the top, Bruno at the bottom for Wrestler of the Year. This is your uh, year-end award uh the issue it shows wrestler of the year match of the year blah 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 this is in 75 annual number 11. giant baba takes the cover giant baba is the new nwa uh, world champion spring of 1975 and it's showing a match with baba and uh and dory funk um as the magazine in Japan predicted, Baba was getting close and closing in and uh, taking on Jack Briscoe uh, was in the future and he would end up defeating Jack and becoming the champion. And this is spring of 75. There wasn't many issues in 75 wrestling world, just four. In 76, it would go down to three. Uh, 77 and 78, I believe it was only two issues. Uh, they really came to almost a screaming halt wrestling world in the late 70s and early part of the 80s. Came back again mid-80s when wrestling got popular again, though. Um, big book of wrestling, once again, with a bloody Paul Jones on the cover of it. So that's two out of the th uh, three covers with Paul Jones, uh, March of 75, and uh, pretty bloodied up, as just about all the wrestling was in 75. Uh, another bloody shot of the Sheik in Wrestling Monthly, March of 75. Wrestling Review with another less attractive cover uh, as the last. And um, nothing about this cover is telling you, you know, I need to buy this wrestling magazine. And it, it, they wonder why they, they went down. It's not hard. Put on a, 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 a cover in color with two guys uh, holding each other, uh, preferably one with some blood on his head. Or put on a cover with a guy with a championship belt over his shoulder smiling, and that thing will fly off the shelf. Um, you know, Greg Gagne with his dog and his dad Vern and his sister uh, aren't really going to sell a bunch of magazines uh, out in California or in New York. Um, I'm not even sure if in their own territory. Um, March of 75 Wrestling Review, um, just a, a, a lousy looking cover for sure. Especially when you get a, you know, in action shot here uh, on official wrestling March of 75. Um, this is uh, every other month, I think, official. But if something changes, it goes from Official wrestling and then wrestling guide goes to official wrestling guide. The two merge into one. I'm not sure when that happens, if it's in the next couple of months. So I just want to keep an eye on that for you. So it's confusing. Um, but I have a video on all that. If you look back for wrestling guide, it'll explain it all. Um, Briscoe uh, on the cover here in the uh, issue of Gong in January of, uh, I'm sorry, of March of uh, 73, along with Tiger Jeet Singh. Uh, Briscoe again. I'm sorry, Jack got the title back. He, he fe defeated uh, the Giant Baba and he got the title back. It's just showing Jack now uh, uh, back with the, with the title. So this is Gong's coverage of Jack's uh, title back and this is Pro Wrestling Monthly's uh, uh, cover of the Jack getting the, the title back. March of 75. And the match is set and Ali takes 
back the title one more time, making him, in some people's eyes, the greatest boxer of all time, which he was not. Um, George Foreman, of course, a uh, fantastic brawler, uh, went down to Ali. Ali's got a hell of a chin. I got, I'll give him that. Um, but certainly not the greatest boxer of all time. Well, you know what? It's not fair to say anyway, because nobody's the greatest anything of all time, because it's just a made-up concept. It's, it's impossible to say. You can't take somebody from 20 years ago and say he would have killed him. It's a theory. It can never be proven. Too many variables come into play. Things change. Life changes. Genetics change. Everything changes. You can't compare an athlete to another athlete based on stats and what you think he would have done. It's just impossible. Um, there's only the greatest fighter of this time, not the greatest of all time. It's it, just no such thing as time anyway. I mean, what is time? Time is just made up. Time is made up by man to control you. There's no time, only what we believe it because they told us there's a such thing as a time. There's the future isn't uh, real. It's in your imagination. The past isn't real. It's only in your um, in your memory. Uh, the only time it is is right now and who the fighter is right now is the best right now. That's my feeling on it. I mean, you know, everybody has their own feeling on it, but comparing, you know, Ali to Tyson, you can't do it. They're it's just two different people, two different time zones, and, and they weren't there. They may have been the greatest at that time, at their time, but their time is gone. Time moves on, and there is no more. You just cannot compare the two. You can't, it's just a made up theory that's never gonna have a, an answer. That being said, um, the uh, foreman uh, takes on uh, Ali, and this is the complete souvenir issue book to follow along to the fight. This was mail-in only. This was rather expensive. Uh, it used to be expensive. I don't know if it's easy to get or hard to get. I haven't bought a boxing mag in years, but this is a, uh, a special title uh, issue, super fight issue um, for 1975, and it was a whopping $1, and uh, very rare, uh, dedicated between just these two fighters uh, before the match took place. So they don't know the results yet and you're supposed to write it in you write it in each round how you scored it that kind of thing just a special gimmicky magazine that stanley put out <clears throat> 1975 april and of course my all-time favorite magazine because it is my very first wrestling magazine i ever got and uh will always be my favorite just for that reason a bloody bobby heenan uh, Chief um, Chief Wahoo McDaniel and Pedro Morales take the cover of April 1975. The wrestler with the Valiant Brothers as World Tag Team Champions, April 75. Great looking shot, Captain Lou and his men. We got a yearbook, number 11, 1975. I know the glare is killing you. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep that out of there giant special issue for yearbook 1975 and it's got the um uh the legionnaires on the bottom as wwa dick the bruisers territory tag team champions harley race uh, up top here and jack briscoe <clears throat> wrestling's photo album or actually wrestling album number one which was the photo album um this first came out uh, March of 1975, another mail away magazine uh, of its kind, like the Apartment Girls, and it's just all p black and white pinups of your favorite wrestlers. And they put out um, five of these uh, that stopped sometime in the early 80s. <clears throat> uh, Wrestling Monthly, April 75, where they decide to put some random girl and put some fake blood on her and try to sell a magazine. She's not a wrestler. She's not bleeding. But uh, wow. I mean, talk about the sleazy depths that they would go to because they couldn't capture their own good image for their own cover of their magazine, I guess, um, because it's a very low budget uh, publication, Wrestling Monthly. Um, <laughs> they have to result to stuff like that. Um, pretty bizarre. But, and I, it, just because of that, I, I think it's 
awesome because it's cheesy and campy and I got to have it because it's so stupid. So that, you know, there's that kind of a collector also. And this is perfect for uh, people like that. And I include myself in that. April 75 monthly. Uh, wrestling review, April 75, Briscoe and Funk on the cover. Getting a little bit better now with uh, wrestling review compared to the last three we looked at. The Ring is making their first appearance in 1975 uh, wrestling, uh, predominantly a boxing magazine. Um, before they started doing wrestling in 62, uh, they did combo. It was The Ring from the you know, 20s, 30s, 40s. It started in 1922, and it always had a boxing uh, and wrestling section. Always had a wrestling section. Um, and if you look at the... Eight, uh, let's see, it would be March of, say, 33, 43, 53. Uh, all of those would be your year-end specials uh, for Wrestler of the Year, uh, Match of the Year. All that was way before PWI. It was all done in the Rings March issue uh, of those particular um, uh, decades. So, if you like I said, every March... Uh, you know, six, uh, be 33, 34, 35, 1936, 1937, and so on. That will be your year end award for wrestler and also boxer of the year. That would give that award to those as well. I have a handful of them uh, from the uh, 40s and 50s. I don't have anything earlier than that for boxing, though, uh, and they're in there. I can break it out sometime and tell you guys who the wrestler of the year was back then if you ever wanted to know. Um, so, but the ring only put out a couple of magazines, uh, maybe three in the whole entire decade. Uh, I mean, the whole entire year, rather, of uh, 75. So they weren't putting out much wrestling. Um, another Stranglehold edition uh, released. Um, this time it's covering uh, The Sheik and Bobo Brazil. Nice, rare uh, issue. Uh, good look at issue for its time. Very uh, dated look. Um, great shot for wrestling news. Also, uh, back again, The Sheik and Dick the Bruiser on the cover wrestling guide now it's real small written here uh april 1975's issue not the most clearest greatest looking cover nonetheless it's the bruiser and the sheik man you know so inside you know it's going to be a crazy match and a crazy uh, pictures inside and it was a great war at that time uh wrestling uh, sports stars again put out a wrestling issue uh april of 1975 Sports Stars was the title. It would be wrestling. It would be football, baseball. Um, I don't think there was a boxing. Um, there was hockey. So you know, it would be this one is wrestling sports star. So they all they had something for every um, every sport, and they all came out quarterly. So this just happened to be a couple of years when wrestling was hot. They decided to go into business with some wrestling, and they did a really good job. This was a, a pretty good magazine. It didn't last long. But uh, great photos and uh, good articles, uh, for sure. And they're not that easy to find either, those issues of sports, uh, sports stars. Uh, on the cover, Tiger Jeet Singh uh, going against Antonio Inoki for the NWF title. The title is about to change hands uh, real soon here uh, in Japan, in New Japan. Uh, the boxing April of 75 is, is international. If you notice now, world boxing was January, international boxing was February, world boxing was March, international boxing is April, so they alternated every month. So it came out you know, once, uh, once a month, but each publication was every other month because there was nowhere near enough boxing as there was to wrestling news. Uh, they would recycle a ton of stories because the fighters didn't fight as much as wrestlers wrestled. So there wasn't that many magazines to be put out. So he would have an annual, he would have a big book of boxing, and then International and World are the two big boxing magazines that Stanley Weston released. Uh, the rest of his money was all made on wrestling, uh, no doubt. Um, this also is a rare shot, Stanley Weston's uh, Muhammad Ali picture book. This is your one and only shot of Muhammad Ali with the World Heavyweight Championship belt around his waist. Hard to believe, isn't it? They didn't put wrestler, uh, boxers on the cover of magazines like they did wrestlers when they were champions with the belt. you never seen it. They never really had belts to begin with. They didn't wear them like wrestlers did. Their, their corner would carry it. It was more like a trophy. It wasn't something they really cared about. 
later on in the 80s, they, 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 it, it changed. And you'd, you'd see like, you know, Marvin Hagler do it. You'll see Tyson, you know, wearing all three belts. Um, in the 70s, they didn't do that shit. They, they, it wasn't that big of a deal to them. Um, so it's very rare to find a boxer uh, wearing a champion, wearing their belt on a cover. And this is the only magazine in existence uh, with Ali on the cover with the Rings Heavyweight World Championship belt, which was the oldest boxing lineage uh, to this day. Inside Wrestling, new month, May of 1975. Valiant taking on um, Bruno San Martino and a black-haired superstar, Billy Graham, who just returned from Japan after losing the IWA Heavyweight Championship belt in Japan, coming back to the States with a new look. <clears throat> May 1975, um, great shot of Andre the Giant, and the bottom is the Battle Royal out in NWA Los Angeles, and Andre, the winner of the $20,000 prize. Sports Review, May 75, Apartment Girls get a pretty good portion of the cover with Mascaris and Bobby Duncan. Bob Backlund's first magazine cover on uh, the center here with Blackjack Mulligan, Superstar Graham up at the top, and um, Dick Murdoch off to the far side. Once again, The Sheik and Dick the Bruiser you know, it's hard to tell some of these with these lower budget magazines that they don't have, they're either really close and, and it's so close you can't make out what's going on or it's so far away or out of focus you can't see it because the photo sucked. Um, they have, they were at great places and, and great matches and they, they, they just got lousy pictures and it's a shame and it, it showed on the covers too. You know, in a comparison to a Stanley Weston magazine, if these two were on the cover, it would stand up much bigger and bolder. It's just, you know, not the greatest shot, but th there were great matches for that time period. And honestly, we're lucky to have them because all this was being erased today. It's being lost. We're not seeing any more physical media. Thank God these time capsules are here and it's important for us collectors to rescue these and save them from extinction. Uh, every day, you know, it seems even Wikipedia, you know, you look in, I don't know, Joe Blow's first wrestling match and it's their first match in the WWF. Okay, what about the 20 years before that? You can't, you can't even find that information. It's only like the WWF's information. Everything's being slowly changed over and switched out, and it's horrifying. Um, it, it, it's just amazing how things can just become the gospel truth because uh, it's online somewhere or somebody posted it somewhere, and there's a lot of wrong information out there, and all the truths are right here. And... Do yourself a favor, search out a few of your favorite. You might catch the bug to buy a couple of more and you might turn into a collection like mine, who knows? Uh, it's fun, it's innocent, and it's important. Uh, Wrestling Monthly, May of 1975. Uh, two uh, wannabe apartment girls wearing masks. <laughs> um, yeah, not the greatest cover. Wrestling uh, Review, once again, with the girls with some fake blood and a mask in an apartment trying to catch on to the apartment craze, uh, the chic recycled bloody photo taken from my friend Gary Mancuso back in 72 on the recycled cover of Wrestling Review. Again, have fresh photos, come up with more, you know, different shots rather than the same recycled shots. The, these companies were notorious for putting the same picture on the cover and they all look the same. It's, it's you know, and you're wondering why they weren't selling. Uh, big book, and uh, now they went to a smaller size. It's way smaller here. You see how the difference height is here. They cut it down to save more money on paper uh, for less for shipping uh, rate. That's the only reason. Um, and possibly saving a little bit more color ink when they gave you your only color picture, which was the cover. Bobby Heenan, A Bloody Mess, May 75. Giant Baba with the bull rope around the throat of Dick the Bruiser. Both, both men, a bloody, bloody mess. Great looking magazine cover on the cover of Monthly Pro. Gong Zishu, Antonio Inoki uh, of uh, May. Boxing 75 issue, Muhammad Ali, um, talking about his future and what's next for the champ. I'll tell you what's next. A loss to Leon Spinks, which is a disgrace for the greatest of all time. 
Inside Wrestling, June 1975, a bloody buddy cult, Sparrows Arion taking on Bruno San Martino at the Garden. Andre the Giant got two men in a headlock. And finally, because of the three to four month magazine delay and lag time, Baba is being announced as the champion, but he's already lost it. Um, that's the price to pay with the American issues being uh, that far behind. The Japanese issues were right up to date. They would release it, and then that month it would be in the magazine. They were very close with their info, uh, even went to a weekly magazine after. Uh, in the early 80s, if you can imagine, four magazines a month. That's awesome. They had four monthly magazines, weekly magazines a month, and then they also had a monthly magazine. So you were getting five magazines a month just from the Japanese. It's incredible. There's just so much wrestling going on. Yearbook, 1975, number 12, Harley Race. Take it on Briscoe, Andre on the left. Your very first issue of Wrestling Superstars. Trying to fix that cover. Um, this is issue number one, which was released summer 1975. It's also got the Sheik, Superstar Graham, Wahoo, Pedro, uh, Bruno on the cover, and Mel Mascaris. The Sheik in a great cover. Difficult magazine to find. Ben Strong, him with the U.S. title. One of the only shots, the only shot of the Sheik on a uh, Stanley Weston magazine with his title belt, and it is a great one. <clears throat> Sheik once again taking on Don Leo Jonathan this time, sticking the foreign object into the face, June of 75 of Wrestling Review. Also mentioning the death of uh, Bobby Shane, and uh, there's that girl again with the fake face paint. <laughs> Wrestling Monthly of uh, June there's one more issue uh, for July, and I couldn't find it. Uh, it's it's green. It's got um, it's got what's his name on the cover? Um, J uh, Jimmy Valiant. Um, I searched everywhere. It's in a different pile. So you, the next month you're not going to see Wrestling Monthly. So this is your last one you'll see for uh, 1975. And then there's a, a lag in between the releases, and there won't be another release for Wrestling Monthly until '76. So um, there is one more. This is June. There's there's one more for July. I, for you know, I don't have it. Sorry, I have it. It's just I couldn't find it. And then there's nothing for the rest of the summer to the fall until January of the following year. <clears throat> Uh, official wrestling uh, annual for June 1975. Morocco on the cover, very bloodied on the cover. Wrestling Guide, June of 75. Jimmy Valiant, a bloody mess on the cover. This is your final issue of uh, Complete Wrestling Roundup. And uh, it's got, um, oh, his name's escaping me, god damn it. Um, the Cowboy, um, come on, uh, Cowboy Bob Ellis, sorry, uh, bloody on the cover here of uh, June of 75, Complete Wrestling Roundup, and some pretend apartment house girl telling the secrets of apartment wrestling. You must tune in. Jack Briscoe takes the cover of Wrestling News in the NWA's edition. Uh, now that he is once again a uh, heavyweight champion, taking the title back from Baba. Wrestling Sports Stars put out another issue. Superstar, I'm sorry, um, Bruno San Martino uh, is uh, on the cover of this one, uh, June 1975. Giant, um, no, this isn't, uh, I thought it was a boxing issue there. That I thought we were seeing something different than the one. I thought it was Ali with the red trunks, and it's not because he's not, he never fought a Japanese guy. Sorry about that. Um, the month, June, uh, of Gong, 1975, and it's got Inoki uh, on the top. This, is, I believe, is the ending of the MSG tournament in 75. If it was called the MSG tournament, maybe called the World Tournament then. It's the, it's the finals of the tournament. Um, Ali on the cover, June 75, of international uh, boxing and how he influenced all of the boxers from the past. <clears throat> Uh, boxing 75 annual number four and uh, they put out I don't know how many I believe 10 annuals and uh, this is issue number four um, Ali and uh, Frazier I'm sorry uh, 
a foreman uh, back covering the title change as a annual. The Valiants are back on the cover with their manager, Captain Lou, and the Tag Team Championship belts. July of 75, new month now inside wrestling, halfway there. Bruno on the cover, The Wrestler, July 75, Sports Review, Bloody Victor Rivera with Canadian champion Dino Bravo, Sports Review, July 75. These Sports Review 75s are really hard to come by. Um, you know what, at least they were, and I remember seeing how expensive they were. I, I was going to get a few upgrades at one time, and I, I see them, they went at like 60 bucks. I'm like, what are they, out of their freaking mind? But uh, I see they're getting it because they, you just don't see them. They're just very difficult for some reason. Sports Review 75. Uh, Victory Sports uh, Annual number 13. Got a couple of Battle Royals going on again for um, uh, Los Angeles for their yearly Battle Royal final one of the final issues of ben strong and this is a collector's issue summer of 75 ben strong's issue and uh killer kowalski with bruno on the cover nick bockwinkle taking on um the crusher <clears throat> wrestling world coming back for a summer issue should be back for a fall and a winter and that'll be it for wrestling world um with uh uh i kept trying to say Vern Gagne. um Tony Gurria, uh, Wrestling World, 75, Gurria on the cover. It would be easier if they put the wrestler's name so I don't have to keep coming up with a name every time. You know, it would be nice to get, you know, fed an answer once in a while. <laughs> a very bloody Captain Lou Albano uh, here on July of 1975 talking about some of the bloodiest matches in wrestling. That will certainly sell for sure. So they did a good one there, official wrestling. Um, got some chick's ass in the air on wrestling review with a bloody sir oliver humperdinck which could quite possibly be his first magazine cover july 75. <clears throat> dusty and pack battling it out in florida uh shortly after dusty uh made his uh face turn if i'm correct my florida friends out there um big book of wrestling july 75. <clears throat> Once friends, now enemies, and taking on Gary Hart's army would be Dusty Rhodes. Uh, annual for Wrestling Monthly, um, which uh, just no actual date, just says Wrestling Monthly Annual. Uh, and then here it says uh, Album. So I guess it's a champion album showing the different champions. Um, yeah, so the Sheik, uh, yep, pretty much all the guys, these are all champions pretty much at this time period, so it makes sense. Um, uh, don't, don't know really much about these. I, I don't remember even looking through these hardly ever, so I, I don't know what to say about these. I know they put out a couple. They did an annual, and then they did a, um, a yearbook um, for each year, but uh, not, it didn't last long. I think they did the yearbook and annual maybe three times. One of the biggest matches of the independent wrestling circuit would be IWA's matchup against uh, Ivan Koloff, going against the champion, Mil Mascaris, for the IWA championship and uh, in Roosevelt Stadium in New Jersey. And this is um, a magazine program to that big event. Um, this is an event. This is the actual program with the lineup of the matches as well. Uh, this other one is the, um, the magazine, which is a lot more. This is just a gatefold, uh, uh, kind of like the old Madison Square Garden programs were, uh, one page, but the it's the official program, actual program. The other one's a magazine program. Um, Tiger Jeet Singh would take uh, on Antonio Inoki and defeat him for the NWF Heavyweight Championship and shocked everyone in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And was he would be the first person to defeat Inoki for the title. Only a few people would get that honor. Stan Hansen would be one. Um, I think that's it, actually. Uh, yeah, he, he didn't lose very often. And uh, if he did, um, it, it was extremely uh, few and far between. Uh, Anoki would quickly get the title back, but this is covering Tiger with the NWF title and his uh, first major uh, world title, quote unquote, for Tiger Jeet Singh. This has also got the coverage uh, in Monthly Pro. And here is a um, ticket stub to that night Anoki lost. It is saying Tiger Jeet Singh 
taking on Antonio Inoki, and that is a ticket stub for the night. The Sheik, I'm sorry, the um, Tiger Jeet had uh, won the title. Pretty rare stub for sure. Wrestling World is coverage July of 1975, and it's showing us for the first time on the cover Roberto Duran, a still a street fighter, and what a uh, um, a storied uh, history uh, he would have in the future. Man, what a tremendous boxer he will turn out to be in just a few short years. Apartment House Wrestling catching on pretty good. Stanley Weston decides to make it on the cover of Inside Wrestling for the first time rather than Sports Review, and this is the first time you're seeing it dominant on a cover. And apparently the sales were excellent. Um, anytime you put a half-naked girl on a cover of a wrestling magazine, I guess at this time period, it was doing quite well. And uh, this one sold uh, a ton, <clears throat> which led them to put out more of those kind of covers uh, in 76 and 77 on Sports Review. It was, it'd be pretty rare to see the apartment girls dominate over the actual wrestlers. And the wrestlers were not happy about it at all. They were, all of them were pissed at it. Um, but it increased sales. So in a way, it's you know, promoting wrestling, right? Um, the wrestler Bruno San Martino taking on Sparrows Arion at the Garden once again. And uh, Rock Riddle on the bottom in his car from movie star to wrestler. There's The Rock. And... Um, uh, August 1975, The Wrestler. The Ring putting out another issue, and it's got, um, just trying, I thought there was one more, but this could be the last one. And Casey, take, come on, Jimi Hendrix, how you doing, bud? All right, get lost, pal. Um, all right, thank you. And Casey makes the cover uh, for the cover of The Ring, and um, Freddie Blassie with Sparrows in the corner. Well, Jimmy puts his two cents in. Come on, dude. <clears throat> uh, Wrestling Sports Stars, August of 75. Come on, dude. <laughs> Get out of here. I was never a cat guy, man. You know, this guy just showed up at my door one day. I felt bad for him. And I, next thing I know, he's taken over my house three years later, and he's still going. So once in a while, he pops through a video. Uh, August of 75 with the Canadian Wild Man on the cover. And what a look that is, man. Bruiser Brody before Bruiser Brody for sure. This dude was crazy with the hair and beard. Great look. <clears throat> America's Wrestling Guide. So we went from Wrestling Guide to America's Wrestling Guide. This would go on one more issue and that would be the end of Wrestling Guide. So your last issue of Wrestling Guide was... In, uh, in July, I don't have it. it like I said, it's got um, uh, Valiant on the cover. I'll show it or I'll pin a picture of it or if I can do it somehow on the, on the video or something if I can. Um, but so this is your first issue of America's Wrestling Guide. It would only last one more issue with the America's name on it with Bruno and then this would be finished along with complete and I believe monthly as well, all end here. <clears throat> Antonio Inoki on the cover of uh, Gong, and this is discussing him winning the title back from uh, Tiger Cheat Singh in uh, August. One more body press magazine slash uh, program uh, of the Sheik's territory, August of 1975, and I'm pointing out an important piece, I think. It's got Randy Poffo, soon to be Macho Man Randy Savage, taking on Kurt Von Rauner. Now, early shot of Randy Savage before he was Randy Savage. Um, you didn't see him in many programs. This is a, a nice, rare uh, mag uh, magazine and uh, hard to come by, especially for those Savage uh, fans out there who like older um, ICW stuff. Um, certainly want to search this out he made a early summer ride through the sheik's territory he'd be back again later on as the champion uh in the icw in like 78 and 79 uh when the sheik was on his way out but uh early shot of randy savage when he was randy apafo uh in this uh, issue here a nice rare uh, historical 
piece for any collectors trying to search that out letting you know that it's out there might be not be the easiest thing to find but it gives you a goal to look for it right chuck wepner the real rocky or so he claims takes on muhammad ali for a pounding in august of 75's international boxing issue and um yep norton on the bottom who got robbed who i believe beat ali three times <clears throat> many people believe he beat ali three times Mil Masker is taking on uh, the world uh, when it comes to the IWA heavyweight champion on the cover of Inside Wrestling, September of 75. Great shot if I can get the stupid glare out. Sorry, guys. It really sucks. Um, I pulled this one from my autographed uh, section because I couldn't find my regular reader copy. Um, I, I, I must... The more I pull magazines out for videos, I, I mis start misplacing stuff and uh, I'm starting to lose shit. So I really need to pull myself together here and uh, get myself back in order. Um, the wrestler got the valiance once again on the cover for the heel tag team. They were certainly popular, especially when you had a chance to win a date with the heel tag team. You really didn't see something like that uh, in wrestling period, let alone any time period. Uh, it would be, if anything, a baby face, not heels. But uh, September 75's issue of The Wrestler, another 75 issue of Sports Review, another rare expensive one with Dory Funk on the cover. Superstar taking on, um, I think Ernie Ladd uh, is the article, and uh, Superstar has the black hair and black beard in this one as well. If I can pull it in a little bit closer for you to see there, it's an early look. Annual Stanley Weston's uh, with Tony Gurria on the cover. The fabulous Mula also takes the cover. Gorgeous George Jr. The final issue of Ben Strong. I guess they either didn't stick with it, didn't sell as much, or decided to focus their efforts with a different publication. Andre gets the final Ben Strong cover. Um, September 1975. I like Ben Strong. I remember Ben Strong's hockey issues, and I believe they had a football issue too. Um, not sure if that was Stanley Weston or not, though. I'm not sure the mer who Ben Strong was, so I, I, it's probably a good question. I should ask Bill after a while. I still have the opportunity to and uh, get his thoughts on what the deal was with Ben Strong. Um, East Coast edition for, um, I'm sorry, NWA East edition um, of Wrestling News. Uh, Tojo Yamamoto and Tommy Rich. Tommy Rich's first magazine cover and is also Tommy Rich's first championship, uh, tag team champions right here. Uh, down, I believe, um, I, f I do say it and I forget. I just don't remember where, um, where this is. Somewhere in Tennessee, I'm gonna guess. Big Book of Wrestling, September 1975, bloodied and butchered. Also, it's got uh, Ann Casey back on the, uh, the cover again, talking about her battles with Moolah. The gong issue for September, Abdullah taking on uh, the Sheik in a great bloodied cover. Excellent cover, perfect. Monthly uh, Pro September Jack Briscoe as the NWA champion and this has got full color coverage of the Roosevelt Stadium match between Koloff and um, And Mascaris and it also comes with a pullout poster if you buy it You're going to be paying about a hundred for it So make sure the poster is there a lot of people don't realize that the poster is the selling point So they think it's just the magazine. They still sell it for a hundred don't buy that one buy the one with the poster in it Smoking Joe and uh, Ali talking about doing it again, September 75, on the cover of uh, box, World Boxing. Here is a special all Ali uh, uh, issue, mail away only. Not sure, I think it was like $2 back at the time, but an entire issue dedicated to uh, to Ali. I mean, I don't mean to bang on Ali that much. I just, I don't like him. I didn't like his interviews. I didn't like who he was. And uh, I didn't think he was the greatest boxer at all. I mean, in the 60s, I'll give him that. Um, if, you know, if the mob didn't tell Sonny Liston to take a dive, I don't think you'd see him as champion, or at least as early as he was. Um, the, to me, I don't know why Sonny Liston was losing to Ali. I'm sorry. Um, but 
be that as it may, Ali uh, gets his own uh, dedicated issue here, and it's a really good one, and it's a rare one. Superstar uh, on the cover, along with Strombo and uh, Valiant, October 75, new month now, new month, October, and a bloody superstar. Bruno San Martino on The Wrestler, again with Sparrows Arion. They had three return matches at the Garden. Um, Andre the Giant goes berserk, it's 1975, yearbook 13. Wrestling World back for another, fall 75 with both Blackjacks. Crazy Lou Graham on the cover, Wrestling Review. Good shot of Superstar Graham, his brother, uh, in an arm lock with Johnny Valentine. Final issue of America's Wrestling Guide, Bruno San Martino. So Wrestling Guide is over, America Res Wrestling Guide is over, and this is the end of the publication for uh, Wrestling Guide, um, October 75. Kind of looks like the Sheik in the face a little bit. At Bork Parentier really put the years on. Uh, got a lot older. Also put on a lot of girth and thickness, too. He put on some weight. Uh, it wasn't necessarily a bad thing. He looked, you know, muscular with it. Um, he's always a you know muscled dude, but uh, even so, in his later years, October of '75 of Sports Stars, <clears throat> Japanese issue of Gong has got uh, the Sheik taking on Tiger Jeet Singh in a um, Arabian Death Match, which is the mud match, um, and the mud match to the um, Middle Eastern heritage people. Uh, is a serious thing. It's not like two broads fighting in mud and rolling around for tits and ass. It's a, it's a serious thing uh, between two Arabs who were pissed off, and this is the way they settle their wars. Um, the Indian mud match, iron uh, with the uh, Sheik and Tiger Jeet Singh, October 1975. A very bloodied Abdullah the Butcher on the cover of uh, Pro, um, Pro Monthly, Monthly Pro, and uh, looks like he is out on his feet. Muhammad Ali, uh, Nobody Laughs at an Unfunny Clown, October 75 of bo International Boxing. Great looking covers. No one did covers like Stanley Weston. You know, boxing, wrestling, uh, he was the guy. And uh, I'm just a sucker for anything that dude put out. I originally, in my collection, I started out buying anything that Stanley had. So whatever he put out, I had to own, and then it just led on to all the others. I was like, well, I may as well buy everything. You know, it just kind of led to that. But it was, for sure, it was London Publishing, Stanley Weston's, Bill After's magazines that sucked all of us in. I mean, they're responsible for why we're all here watching this video right now. If it wasn't for them, this wouldn't be a thing. And we wouldn't be excited to see this just as much as we were back then, you know, 40 years ago, uh, as we are today, just as happy to see it again. Uh, new month, November, uh, Inside Wrestling, and it's got a full shot of Mascaris on the cover. Great looking shot of Mill's mask. Uh, November 75, Andre uh, and Bruno. Sports Review with the Sheik set in fire. Don Leo taking on Andre at the bottom, November 75. Could have sworn there was one more West, and I guess that's it. Okay. Uh, the Ring will be the final issue for the Rings. Uh, Jose Lothario with the uh, Texas Heavyweight Championship and the Brass Knuckle Championship. Bruno with the WWE. F heavyweight championship title, Crazy Luke, and Big Book of Wrestling, Bobby Duncombe, another bloody shot that was recycled from an old Stanley Weston uh, sports review from a little later on, a little earlier on uh, in the year of 75. You guys seen it earlier, probably the February issue. Frazier, you're next. Ali is uh, yelling like he would... Uh, always do and he was great at it great on the mic went a little over the top with the insults but uh, that was just him um, November 75 and they're getting ready for the super fight Ali Frazier 3 and um, you know they're really they're, there was no winners and losers of, of these three bouts you know uh, they all won and in the end, they all lost. So what did you really win? Um, you know, they took years off their lives and their brains uh, from beating them in 
for these uh, 45 rounds that they went. Um, ridiculous amount of punishment that these guys put themselves through um, so we can be entertained and so they could put food on the table to uh, pave the way for the generations of uh, boxers who now, uh, if you're lucky, you'll see them fight once every 18 months um, when these guys were fighting four times a year, uh, defending the title four times a year. You know, they'd be fighting a lot more than that. Um, it's a great looking cover. Big Book of Boxing was one of my favorite uh, of all of them. And uh, I, uh, this was, I always loved this cover. Uh, it's Photoshopped, they're actually not together. But uh, it's just, it's so telling, you know, it was the ending of, of, a, of a, a nasty war between two hated people who did not like each other, uh, you know, and justifiably so for Joe. Um, he really, you know, got trashed, and uh, uh, I don't believe it was you know, fair at all. Um, but me being a, uh, a Joe fan, I'm, of course I'm going to be biased to it, so um, not taking anything away from Ali. The guy was phenomenal. He had probably the best chin uh, of anyone to go against, you know, Norton, uh, Frazier, uh, Foreman. I mean, come on, the list goes on. And, and stood there and took it. Um, it's just a shame. Uh, the end of his life uh, wasn't as uh, healthy as the beginning of his life. Um, because in the end, man, they were all beat up for our entertainment. So I have much respect for Ali for that. Just didn't respect him as, you know, as a boxer. Um, Giant Baba taking on... Uh, Abdullah the Butcher and the cover of Gong in November's issue. Superstar Graham getting crushed by Andre the Giant inside wrestling. December now coming to the last of the month, uh, last of 1975, as we're pushing through and getting ready for 1976. Mascaris got the king, Ernie Ladd, and a head scissor. <clears throat> Mr. Wrestling 2 makes the cover as a champion on the cover of uh, Wrestling Yearbook number 14. <clears throat> this is also a year uh, uh, end special for um, uh, awards, rather, most popular, match of the year, wrestler of the year, that kind of thing. Uh, this is in this issue of 75 Yearbook. Wrestling World put out uh, their final issue of the year, Superstar Graham in winter of 1975, and how his run in the East will go, the East Coast, that is. Pat Patterson in the top here, uh, Ox Baker on the bottom, uh, wrestling uh, review, December 1975. Another issue that, that I remember seeing not selling very cheap. Um, I'll lie if I tell you the price, but I was a little shocked at the number. I, I just don't remember. Um, I was like, wow, for that? It's unreal. And the last of the super fights. Ali Frazier 3 and um, what a fight it was and these fights are all on YouTube and uh, definitely go back and relive some of that. There were some great times uh, with boxing. It was all free on television. The family all got together. Everybody watched it. Even the moms who didn't give a shit were still in the corner cheering for one of the two. Uh, it was just a special time. It was just you know, between the wrestling and the boxing. It was some of the best, uh, best times of my life and I always love going back and it's crazy how a magazine cover can just hit rewind on your brain and bring you right back to that moment uh, 40 years later. It's just it's just incredible. And uh, I want to thank all you guys for coming back and sharing that with me uh, during this video as we close it out with Antonio Inoki on the cover uh, as the NWF champion. And that was a look back of 1975. What a great year. Um, man, what great times. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.